Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can, spins a web. Trine, the artifact of power. The adventure platformer makes a return. Once again, the game's visuals, atmosphere and music are stunningly good. The puzzles are fairly easy, but some of them have interesting solutions. The franchise has grown in a new direction. Literally, because Trine is now in 3D. This makes for a more interesting level design, which is still pretty linear, but does branch off for hidden collectibles. But because the camera is fixed and you aren't restricted in a 2D plane, you will often fall off accidentally. Even though the game has workshop support, it seems to me that the developers relied on user-created content way too much, because the whole story is 4 hours long, and there are a couple of side levels which can be done in under 30 minutes. And because this is all the game has to offer, the replayability is non-existent. Both previous Trine games had items and skill trees. All of that has been scrapped, and now Amadeus is limited to having a single box, Zoya can only have one type of arrows, and Pontius has only one attack. On top of that, the story and the game feel unfinished. Trine 3 ends halfway through the adventure, which I feel will be completed with a couple of probably paid DLC. Overall, if the previous Trine games never existed, this might have been an okay game. But they do, and are 85% off. So instead of getting this game, just buy the first two for one-fourth the price.